If all of a sudden you noticed calls and text messages you don't recognize, you get emails about unfamiliar password reset and account sign up. Your phone loses battery quickly. A sudden surge in data usage. Maestri apps you don't remember installing. Unexpected changes in call forwarding settings. And your phone feeling unusually hot during use. This is a clear sign that your phone must have been hacked. By this implication, hackers can track your location divert your calls and read your text messages, hack into your emails and social media accounts, and in more serious cases, they could steal your bank account details and buy things online with your hard-earned money. But let not your heart be troubled because this video is about how to confirm that your phone has been hacked, how to unhack it, and stay safe. Watch till the end. All right, guys, before we dive into how to confirm if your phone have been hacked or if your phone is being tracked, I think it's going to be a wise idea to first of all know how your phone can be hacked. OK, the first method hackers use is through an open Wi-Fi. Now, if you see a Wi-Fi without a lock, that simply means that Wi-Fi is not secured. And if you go ahead and connect to search Wi-Fi, it is possible that hackers can hack your phone through that source. OK, so if you are connecting to a, a, you know, an unsecured Wi-Fi, please do so with a VPN. OK, a very strong one. Else risk your phone being hacked. All right. The second way hackers hack your phone is through a method called phishing. Now imagine getting a message or um, an email from your bank telling you to please confirm your bank details by just filling out a form, a very short form, maybe your account number, your account name, your BVN, stuff like that. Just fill out the form and submit. Guess what? Very simple, not a big deal, right? Now the thing now is that it is possible it is likely that that message is not coming from your bank but from hackers okay and when you fill out the form containing your bank details and submit in fact i'm sorry because you're gonna get debit upon debit alert so phishing is one of the favorite method hackers use so the third method is through a tracking software you see most times when we download applications from unknown sources or unsecure sources we end up downloading a tracking software okay so take for example you see a post online telling you that you can get adobe premiere for free okay and asks you to download the software for free or the cracking code for free now many people are going to fall for this trap because we all know that adobe premiere isn't free okay now you saw a post online telling you to download the cracking software for free and you go ahead and click on download well congratulations you might have downloaded a tracking software and what that means is that having that software inside your phone your location is being tracked and it can steal confidential information like your bank details from your phone straight up to the hackers database okay so please and please don't download applications from unknown sources now to confirm that your phone has been hacked i have some ussd you can just type on your dialer and you will get a confirmation if your phone has been hacked or tampered with the first one is this to show if someone catches my unanswered calls dial star hash 61 hash dial this code to check call forwarding status star hash 62 hash now call to check for call forwarding number dial star hash 67 hash code to check all call forwarding informations dial 
star hash zero zero four hash now code to check if phone is tapped dial star hash 21 hash don't forget if your phone got lost or stolen and you want to track the location of your phone you will need your imei number okay and the code to check your imei number is star hash zero six hash star hash zero six hash we must have confirmed that your phone has been hacked now this is the way to fix it first of all you will have to disable all call diversion and redirection by dialing the code hash hash zero zero two hash secondly you will have to remove administrative access check your permission manager to confirm apps that have permission to your phone XMX, location, storage, contacts, and so on. Make haste and remove any suspected application. Thirdly, you have to delete suspicious apps and files. Go to settings, then applications, and delete any strange application that you didn't remember installing yourself. Fourthly, reset your password. Changing password for any compromised account is a must too. Reset password for your social media, online banking, cloud services, and any account linked to your phone. And remember, keep those new passwords strong and avoid using personal info like your birth date. And lastly, factory reset your phone. Factory reset erases all user data and settings, restoring the device to its original factory condition.